create MPAT volumes. A uh, similar story, I'm going to reset the scene as it is right now and create a bunch of spheres and teapots and you know the, the usual suspects. Uh, and let's assume that I want to create a PAT volume. Typically people would go and say, yeah, I know the Krakatoa has the PAT volume and it's probably on the Krakatoa uh, section of the create menu, so I'll create this and then I go and when I'm done with it, I'll pick this box and my box is in the wrong place, so I'll have to go and align it uh, pivot point to pivot point with all the settings and now it's where I want it. And that's just not the way to do it. So if I want to create a PAT volume for each one of these objects, and not only that, but also apply some other settings, I just go and hit the button that says Vol, or use the menu here, and there is a Create PAT Volume. Uh, I just uh, select this one, and I have three PAT volumes aligned correctly to the source objects. They acquire their color and their material, and they get renamed correctly according to those objects' names and they get a voxel size that matches the bounding box size of the object and the source object was set to non-renderable and as you can see here and set to bounding box so it's not in the way. Those are options that can be set in uh, the preferences or in the menu that opens with the arrow click next to the PAT volume uh, name. So in this case you'll see that uh, this menu has additional options I can set, for example, currently it says um, I want, for example, I, I want to uh, set it to see true, I want to set it to frozen, um, I can show it as gray uh, when it's frozen and so on, that applies to the source. Right now it says don't render the source and display as a bounding box and I have the option to actually hide it if I want and if I select this option here, store above settings as defaults, whatever I specify here is the next time behavior. So if I go here and say instead of switching to bounding box, which currently was disabled, now uh, it's, it turned to a regular teapot, I can go and say instead of that I want it to hide. And now it's hidden. My teapot disappeared, I have only the PAT volume. So if I go here and say save the above settings as the defaults, and then I go and create another teapot um, somewhere on the site, and I want to create a PAT volume out of it. Now the, the teapot, the original teapot got hidden instead of turning to bounding box and I have only my particles there. Uh, the options to align and so on are also part of this menu. So for example, if I grab my PAT load and, and uh, move it to the side and then go and select from this menu and say, I want you to unhide that object that is the source and I want to align the one to the other. Now you can decide which one to which. I can align the PAT volume back to the source object and it jumps back or I can move it somewhere, transform it, I like it but to say huh, I want my source to also be there. I can go select again from the menu and say, uh, so, um, where is it, here it is, align the source to the PAT volume and that moves over there. Um, the setting of the spacing, for example, is also something that happens automatically here. I have 11776 is the number of particles currently created based on a special spacing that was calculated based on the bounding box. If I go and say select me the teapot, change the size of this teapot to something bigger, you'll notice that the number of particles actually increases because I'm creating with the same spacing but I have a much bigger object. If I click this icon here and go and say I want to set it to the new spacing that will produce the same amount of particles as I had before, I click and I'm back to 11776, same numbers before because it's based on the same formula. And you can create, you can specify the ratio between the size of the bounding box and the number of particles it generates. So if I go here and enter 30, this is the new factor for uh, creation and if I go and say create me, uh, set me the viewport spacing, now I will create much less particles. So it's uh, that factor can be customized also.